Good work, Max. Now let's. I'm a bazooka, Sam. A bazooka. Toys, toys. We must prepare the toys. Well, that's just a typical Friday night for you, Sam. I could probably empty out this cash register and no one would know. God would know, Sam. So now we know two things. You're an idiot. Open up, or I take the leash off my little buddy here. <laughs> Point and click adventure games. It is you, not boy. Smith, she just called me nut boy. Kid tested, eh? My little buddy has the brain of a child. I keep it in my bedroom closet. As a responsible adult... <laughs> as a responsible adult... People who do unflattering impressions of their friends behind their backs? Like who, for instance? Like who, for instance? Honestly, what do they teach you Americans in your schools? Video poker! Couldn't we just use them to cruise for chicks? The ladies love a good spoon bending. That's curious. My scans indicate you don't even like girls. I changed, Sybil. I totally get the whole parenthood thing now. You do? Tax deductions. I didn't think Max had a superego. Yes. Well, you're fat. It would seem that neither of us get the respect or attention we deserve. Well, you don't have to be a jerk about it. Prepare yourself for my hypnotic dance of the third degree. And the tentacles, which are far too busy to be my work. Shout out to all the Crime Stoppers in the 212. Clear the scene now! If and why on earth should I help you? Because you're a brain in a jar and I know how to boil things. Max got me that set of mariachi frogs for my birthday. Touching is my third favorite thing to do to things. In case anyone was curious, second is licking. If these findings are true, then that would mean it's scientifically impossible for Max and me to exist. Oh, no, wait, uh, I was reading it wrong. Well, he'll overwork his brain so much that it catches fire and explodes. Oh, I have got to see that! You can't see that, Max. Your brain will catch fire and explode. But that's why you'll have to record it for me, Sam. Duh! Error. Cannot remove inventory. Where do you keep your personal items? It's none of your damn business, computer. Even though they're on a toy stealing mission that'll no doubt bring about the end of the world, it makes me proud to see my clones going about their labor so diligently. Sam? Whoops! Without Max, I'd be just another grim loner, skulking through the seedy armpits of the city, assaulting crooks and assorted crook-like punks in a humorless, over-narrated fashion. Sure, it'd probably sell like granny panties in a nunnery, but would I be happy? Not really. Wow, Max is looking pretty buff. Would it be too weird if I asked him to turn around? Not you, not Max. But I'm a horrible monster! 